This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Alien, Fate of the Nostromo in about 3 minutes. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-5 to five players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty simple game. I should reach the frontier in about 6 weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. You win the game if you complete all your objective cards and then complete the final mission. You lose immediately if crew morale ever reaches zero. Variable player powers. Each of the five characters has a unique ability only they can use. Pick up and deliver. Many of the tasks require you to take specific objects to a set location. AI. The alien has its own set of cards and moves using them. No one plays the alien. Player turn. Each player should select one of the available characters and take their board and model. Deal out one more objective card than the number of players, leave them face up, and deal out one final mission card left face down. The board is populated with scrap, cooling canisters, and concealed tokens. The crew are placed in the dining hall, and the alien in the nest. Note that the ship has two levels. They can only be travelled between using these pairs of matching ladders. On your turn, you will have a number of actions as printed on your character board. Here Dallas has five actions. He moves twice for two actions to the mother room. He then picks up all the scrap there for one action, and the coolant canister for another. These are placed on his character sheet. Note that the coolant goes in the coolant only space and nowhere else. For his final action, he decides to craft an item, and he checks the available list. He chooses the motion tracker, discards two scrap, and places the tracker on his board. The alien acts at the end of each player's turn. Reveal a card. If it is an event like this, resolve it immediately. If the card has these symbols, place that number of scrap shown in the marked room. And if the room is empty, place a concealed token. And if the card has these symbols on it, move the alien the leftmost number of spaces towards a player and do the rightmost number in morale damage. The attacked character then moves three spaces in any direction they want to. If you move into an area with an exploration marker on it, flip it. If it is blank, remove it. If it shows the alien, take the morale damage shown and move the alien model here and then retreat three spaces as normal. Items have many uses. The electric prod and flashlight reduce morale loss from alien attacks. The motion tracker reveals hidden tokens which can move the alien, and the incinerator forces the alien back to the nest. To complete a task, just follow the instructions on it. Note that many tasks only require you to bring an item to an area, not drop it there. Turn over an objective when it's done, and once all objectives are flipped, reveal the final mission, complete that, and win the game. Why would you like this game? Alien is one of my all-time favorite movies. So with that bias firmly out there, this is an excellent alien game. All too often it's aliens with its marines and big explosions that gets all the limelight. But alien and this game aren't about the big guns. It's about running around a ship desperately fleeing for your life. There's a small number of alien cards, but enough to make the alien feel unpredictable and scary. The different final missions also make it hard to prepare for the final act. And if you are finding the game a little too easy, you can up the difficulty by adding an ash as well. All the equipment options let you employ different approaches and strategies for dealing with the alien. The core rules are super simple and well suited for any type of player who wants a good thematic cooperative game. The best thing about this game is the concealed tokens making the alien move dramatically. Revealing one is always tense. However, as much as I like this game, it's fundamentally a reskin of Horrified by the same design company. Not that that makes it a bad thing, I just think Horrified has a bit more going for it with its variety of monsters. And it definitely works better with smaller groups. With 5, the alien could have moved the whole ship's length between your turns. As mentioned earlier, for a similar game, check out Horrified. And for aliens, try another glorious day in the core. Alien, Fate of the Nostromo. <laughs> Damn it, Jonesy! And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.